Uh, Shalom. This is Gidon Ariel, and this is a special broadcast of Root Source regarding Shabbat and Yom Kippur. Uh, this is being recorded in 2014, uh, October, and uh, it's a very special day today on Yom Kippur. So this year I'm happy to um, bless everyone who's watching this video now with a uh, beautiful Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, and Shabbat, Sabbath. And we're going to learn a little bit about both of those things today. Hopefully we'll be able to understand, and I hope that you will appreciate the art that I found for these days um, in various places. First of all, Shabbat. Shabbat is, uh, of course, the uh, day, the seventh day of the week. I think it's... Uh, universally, certainly in uh, the Western, certainly in the English-speaking world, every, Shabb every Saturday is a Shabbat. Shabbat is the day of rest. Here are some uh, things that we do on the day of rest. We light candles before the day of rest to uh, emphasize its holiness, not on the day of rest. It's uh, prohibited to light fires on Shabbat, according to uh, the Bible, and therefore that is why we light exactly in before Shabbat, so that we will have light on Shabbat. This is the special challah roll that um, we serve on the Shabbat meals, and with, together with wine. Here are some holy books that we learn, and uh, here is a family. You can't really see the uh, the Shabbat roll or the Shabbat wine, even though you can see a candle here. Here are uh, some candles, and of course the wine goblets. And uh, Shabbat is a beautiful thing. I'm certain that we're going to be teaching about it in Root Source. Um, this year, however, is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, which happens every year on the 10th day of the 7th month biblically. biblically. Uh, that's another issue, exactly what month this is. Is it the 7th month of the f of the or the 1st month? But 10 days ago, we had the uh, holiday of Rosh Hashanah, the first day of the year the new year and uh, 10 days later we have the day of atonement and these 10 days and even uh, a month earlier and in fact uh, all year we try to atone for our sins and get closer to God this is a famous painting by Maurizio Gottlieb uh, here is uh, the entire community in the uh, synagogue uh, uh, which is pretty much what we do all day on uh, the Day of Atonement. Um, here it's not in the synagogue, in the uh, Kotel, the um, Western wo Wall, of course, in Jerusalem. So this year we have a Shabbat and Yom Kippur happening on the same day. The reason that that happens is because uh, Shabbat, of course, we can't move, and because it's it's on Saturday every day of every week. Not every day of the week, but every week it's on Saturday. And you can't say, well, this week uh, uh, Shabbat is inconvenient for me to do on Saturday, so I, I'll do it on Friday or on Sunday. No, no, no. It's always got to be on Shabbat, on Saturday. Sometimes you will have a holiday that comes out on a Saturday. Usually it is a fast day that we say it's inconvenient. It's improper to have a fast day on Shabbat, so therefore we will move it to Thursday or Friday or uh, Sunday and, other ho and a few other holidays as well. But Yom Kippur is a special day and we simply are not entitled to move it. The, the sages uh, said this is the day that we're not going to move it. It's the holiday that God created and uh, that he specifically commanded that we do not uh, change this day from any other day. Um, if it falls out on uh, Sunday, Monday, that's when we uh, celebrate it. And if it falls out on Shabbat, we celebrate on Shabbat. What's special about Shabbat and Yom Kippur is that they are both called Shabbat. They're both called the day of rest. The regular Shabbat is traditionally known as Shabbat Bereshit, the Sabbath of Genesis, because it is actually the seventh day of the creation of the world and that is why we celebrate the Shabbat as it says specifically in the Bible um, on the seventh day God rested and so therefore we rest as well 
Yom Kippur is also a day of rest. Specifically, the, we rest from the, um, the work that we do. The various activities that are prohibited on Shabbat are similarly prohibited on Yom Kippur. So in that way, to not do actions of work on Shabbat, it's the same thing for me tomorrow, for all Jews. We, we're not going to light, light fires. We're not going to uh, build houses. We're not going to um, work in the fields. These are the various uh, um, examples of those kinds of work that we're not allowed to do. We can't do that on, on, uh, on some holidays. One of them is Yom Kippur. Uh, the additional things that we're not allowed to do on Yom Kippur, I uh, won't go into it because uh, time is running out, is that we also do not eat or drink because we are commanded in the Bible to vi'ini uh, tem et nafshotechem. You shall perhaps the word is uh, con- uh, g- afflict, afflict your souls. In other words, you have to make things a little bit harder for yourself because you are being, um, you're being judged today. Today is the day of judgment, actually, as, as is Yom Rosh Hashanah, and it's the final day of ru- judgment when we are decided, or, or God decides for us, whether we should live or die. And every year, with this attitude, Jewish people go into the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur. And we pray to God that He will atone for our sins, that He will, that he will pardon our sins, and uh, we are confident that He will. That is why we wear holiday clothes on this day. Now, there's two more things that I want to say that are important about uh, Yom Kippur and Shabbat. First of all, I showed you pictures of how we pray in the synagogue. But, in fact, the way that we should behave on Yom Kippur is here in the great temple, in the Beit HaMikdash, in the holy temple of the Jewish people, which today uh, doesn't exist, but existed uh, a few times in Jewish history and twice on the temple mat itself where God commanded us that we should build it. And this is the main day of the temple, Yom Kippur. This gentleman is the high priest. This is the Temple Mount, and this is one of the services of the High Priest on the Temple Mount when uh, he sends a sa'ir, uh, a, a goat, a scapegoat, that's actually the source of the phrase, a scapegoat. One uh, twin sca- goat is sent off to the desert to die, and the other is, and another is um, offered as a sacrifice with which helps to uh, which atones all the sins of uh, the high priest his family and the entire Jewish people and perhaps even the world and uh, this is something that we the Jewish people are looking forward to again uh, with some people disagreeing but that's the way Jews are we look forward to the temple being rebuilt and we will be able to have the uh, holy service of the day of atonement on the uh, in the uh, temple on the temple mount in jerusalem now there's one more extremely important thing that i've been saving the l- the best for last and that is shemitah shemitah means also sort of kind of rest or to stop and that is once every seven years the jewish people are commanded to stop working their fields let god's blessing take care of you once every seven years just like you stop working once every seven days, we are commanded to stop every seven years. And uh, don't worry about it. The fields will uh, grow themselves. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to not worry about it at all, but uh, it seems to be working. Certainly in these past uh, 100 or so years, how uh, the um, land of Israel has given its beautiful produce for the people of Israel. And it's a day, it's a year to, comp- to contemplate about God and spirituality. So this year is the year of Shemitah, the seventh year. The, the, um, every 50th year is a jubilee year. This is a, a, a uh, sabbatical year. And even the word sabbatical comes, of course, from Shabbat. So we have here Shabbat Ha'aretz, the Sabbath of the land. Shabbat Breshit, the Sabbath of the beginning, the, the seventh day of the week, Saturday. And Shabbat Shabbaton, 
the, Satur- the, the Sabbath of Sabbaths, which is how we consider Yom Kippur. So these three different Shabbatot coming together on this day it makes for exceptionally holy time uh, and place and people. And we pray that uh, we will be atoned on this Yom Kippur. God will favor our behavior um, on this day of Sabbath and He will continue to bless the Jewish people's presence in the land of Israel for the betterment of uh, Israeli society and that of the entire world. And I'll take this opportunity, even though I ran about twice as long as I wanted in this message, to bless all members of uh, Root Source. And uh, please be in touch with me by email. Check out our website, root-source.com, and have a wonderful, if possible, Shabbat, Day of Atonement, and life. Shalom and Shabbat Shalom.